Well, hello, and welcome back to Studying with Joy on Christian World TV. As you can see, I'm not in my normal setting. I'm actually in the studio of Christian World TV today, and I'm very excited. Um, it's housed here at the First Baptist Church of Gibsonton in Gibsonton, Florida. So I made a special trip down because I actually have a special guest today, and his name is Hanok Young. And Hanok is an Israeli tour guide in the land of Israel. And he loves to share about Israel. He has so many insights. And I'm going to spend a few moments having a conversation with him in just a minute. So I hope you'll stay tuned. And I'm going to introduce you to Hanok, and I know you'll enjoy it. We'll see you in just a minute. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome back to Studying with Joy. And as I promised just a few minutes ago, my friend Hanok is here, and we're going to have a great conversation today talking about Israel, talking about what he does in Israel, and his passion for the land and sharing the land. So, Hanok, welcome to Christian World TV. Joy, thank you so much. It's great to be here. I really appreciate the hospitality, the warm welcome, and uh, looking forward to this evening. Yeah, great. Yes, he's going to be speaking tonight at the First Baptist Church of Gibsonton and sharing with the congregation um, things about Israel and what kind of the climate over there at this point, you know, as we know, we kind of hear what we hear on the media, and yeah. so it can be, you know, you live there firsthand, so you see it different than what we see it on our TV screens and Very here on so. the radio. So um, just so you people know how I met Hano, back in March, I made my first um, pilgrimage, my first trip to Israel, and it was a dream, something I'd been planning and a goal for a long time, and um Thankfully, that was able to happen in March. I went with a great group of people, and Hanok was our tour guide. So um, we got to spend a week together on a bus, driving around, and we got to enjoy what we affectionately called the Ladder Rains Tour. It literally rained on us nearly every day, yeah. um, and which yeah. is very late in the season for Israel, we yeah. found out. Tell us about that. Well, you know, it's interesting uh, when the children of Israel are about to leave Egypt, God says, I'm taking you to a land not like where you've been, you know, nourished by the Nile, but, and this is, of course, the caveat, depending upon your behavior, <laughs> you will have the early rains and the latter rains. In Israel, it does not. it's not like Florida. It doesn't rain, you know throughout the year. In fact, from approximately April, Passo, uh, Passover, the Pesach holiday, to uh, Sukkot, the Feast of Tabernacles, in the fall, we have no rain. But to get as much rain as Joy experienced <laughs> is unusual yep. for that time of year. I mean, we'll have a trickle. This was a repeated downpour. <laughs> It was. Now, we, of course, consider rain a tremendous blessing. Absolutely. And that was great. Uh, but there's a time when it's like, okay, great, enough with the blessing. Yeah. Let's save some for next year. <laughs> yes, those showers of blessings came quite often. So, But we all had a great time. We still learned a lot. We saw a lot. We didn't let it slow us down. Not at all. So but um, so let's kind of go back just a little bit, then the Hanok's life. So you were not born in Israel, correct? Well, you know, some of our listeners are probably thinking, doesn't sound like he's from Israel. <laughs> yes, this accent was born and raised in the Bronx, New York City. Yeah. Uh, a little less than 14 years ago, I had the honor and privilege of becoming an Israeli. Yeah. Uh, I live in Modi'in, Israel's newest city, located midway between Jerusalem and Tel Aviv. Um, and I went to school for two years to become a licensed Israeli tour guide, uh, which is how I make my living. Mm -hmm. And sometimes around twice a year, used to be four times a year, I travel to the U.S. speaking to churches and congregations of all different types, um, sharing a little bit about Israel and helping them connect. You know, in effect, I'm trying to build bridges. Sure. Absolutely. And I could say he does. We Just watching Hanok in his role, you know, me as a person who's never been there and you know I, I said he kind of ran offense for us I felt like he was always in the front communicating with people at sites that we needed to you know and he just he made it run so smoothly and the group that we were with so smoothly but so thank I appreciate you. that and he thank you. you know teaching along the way so when 
what is kind of your favorite place there in Israel to um, show people and let wow. them experience? Wow. Uh, okay. Um, certainly, there are a number of sites in Jerusalem mm. that absolutely, even just thinking about it here in Florida, give me goosebumps. Mm. Uh, but there are a number of sites throughout the country, in Shamron, in Samaria, mm -hmm. in the Golan Heights up north. We've been blessed with an amazing country. Oh, it's gorgeous. And it is ours via the divine promise. Mm -hmm. This is the land that God himself has given to our people. And, you know, he's very clear about it, that he will bless those that bless us in the land of Israel, mm -hmm. and he will curse those that curse us. Right. So it's it's very, it's totally amazing to be part, to actually get to live in Israel and experience it every day. Wow. Yeah. Well, I, I could say it was, I think my favorite part, besides being in Jerusalem, was the northern part around the Sea of Galilee. It's just so sure. peaceful. The hustle and bustle is not there. You're just like, it's a slower pace. It's kind of like going out to the country, you know. If you leave the big city and you drive out to the country, it's kind of that similar feel. You know, if you take your kids to the lake or something, it's that. And I think a lot of people from the city do vacation there, correct? They spend oh, time uh, it's, up yeah, in the Galilee. We, yeah, we don't have... We don't have the land mass, yeah, yeah. at least not yet, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> that America has been blessed with. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you mentioned the Galilee. You go up to the Arbel Cliffs, mm -hmm. and you stand there, and you're looking out at the Sea of Galilee. And, pardon my bottle of water here, but if you hold your hands out like this, 90% of Jesus' ministry mm -hmm. is between the space of your hands. Wow. How could someone whose life revolves around their belief in Jesus mm -hmm. not be awestruck by it? Yeah, true. To actually see where it all played out, mm -hmm. where it all happened. Yeah. Yeah, and he mentioned Mount Ar Arbel. Is it how Arbel. We, Arbel, yes. as we say it. Well, we, on our tour, we hiked up, and it's quite a hike up there. It's a beautiful hike. And we get up to the top, and we're com almost completely fogged in. So the beautiful view... That he's speaking of. I know it's there, but... <laughs> You've seen pictures. You've seen pictures. We didn't take those pictures, though. <laughs> but we uh, got up there, and um, it was all part of the weather system that was yeah. happening at that point. But, um, but yeah, but you could just see. And those cliffs are amazing. Just, you know, to be from down south to the Dead Sea, to be up to that, and then to see Mount Her Hermon and yeah. all of that. And, you know, just the... The difference is as you drive through the country and the land and see the vegetation and the all the growth and the orchards and it's amazing. Yeah, what well, they're supplying it, 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 their country with wonderful food and it it is it's nothing short of a miracle. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, it's 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 an honor for me to both experience it personally mm -hmm. and to be able to share it with people who have always had a heart for Israel. Yeah. Yep. Well, um, what would you say to someone who, like, they have a desire to go, it's always been on their heart to go, but they're a little nervous. What What would okay. you say to someone? Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Reasonable question. The American media portrays Israel in such a way that you would think that, God forbid, people are shot down every day. <laughs> Let me give you a frame of reference. Mm -hmm. Chicago. Mm-hmm. Every weekend, 22 to 25 people are murdered every single weekend in that city. Right. And I've yet to encounter anyone that says to me, Hanoch, I'm not going to Chicago. <laughs> so it's a sense of not believing the American media. Mm -hmm. I mean, first of all, I don't read the Israeli media to find out what's going on in America. Mm -hmm. So you need to look at Israeli news sources, mm -hmm. uh, number one, or now you that y'all have a friend in Israel, you write to me, I know what's going on, I'll be more than happy to tell you all about it. Yeah. So, I would, first of all, I would encourage everybody, and I'm going to mention this to the whole church tonight, everybody needs to start an Israel fund. Right. It can be a little coffee can, it can be a jar, take a little post-it, write Israel fund on it, and keep feeding that jar. Mm -hmm. And you'd be amazed, there is a congregation that I had been going to since August 2013, 
And I said to them, I said, do you guys realize, I said this a year ago, if every single day everyone had put one dollar in that jar, just one dollar, and every teenager has a mm -hmm. dollar that they could have saved, mm -hmm. they'd all be going to Israel. Yeah, true. Now. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Well, I, I do highly encourage it. I, I It was an experience, and when you leave, you will be thinking in your mind, I wonder when I can come back here. <laughs> but um, I will say the entire time I was there, I never felt any, I never felt at unease. I didn't feel like I was under any threat or any security issue. No. Um, it was very, you know, you could, we walk, you know, the streets of Jerusalem and other areas and you would see the IDF soldiers and, you know, they're doing their job and they're protecting the citizens there in the country as well as the tourists and everyone that lives there. So um, there is a heightened security in the country and at the airport and stuff like that. You will experience that. But I never was at any moment had any regrets or no. scared that I to no. be where I was at, uh, during that time. So, but, um, but yeah, it was a great experience and you contributed to that. And I wanted to thank you. And thank you so much. That's <laughs> and, so sweet um, of you to say. The great group. Um, we were actually on tour with a, a ministry called First Fruits of Zion, and uh, they have offices in Jerusalem, and they have a location here in the States that they work out of as well. Yes. But um, Hanok is great friends with that staff, and they work together very well, and so that's how it all came together. But I would encourage you, like Hanok said, if, if you're thinking if, about Israel, if it's, you know, you're like, okay, I've got a goal, I'm going next year, a year next, next year, you know, he will be glad to answer questions, point you to groups that maybe, because you need to go with a group, honestly. Don't try and go over there by yourself and do this this no. land alone or this country alone. It's It would be overwhelming for a person, and they don't really encourage that. I think they want you to come and be a part of a group. For If you've never been, it's not Well, just, it just it doesn't make sense. Right. It doesn't make sense because you don't know where you're going. You mm -hmm. don't know what you should be looking for. Uh, should you hire a tour guide? Should you rent a car? Where are you going to stay? Is yeah. it an Airbnb? Yeah. Do you change locations? There's too much involved. Mm -hmm. So I would encourage everyone, at least for a first time, yeah. to come on a tour. And then afterwards, you know, it's like, it's like a child being issued a coloring book. Mm -hmm. Give a child a coloring book. And they begin coloring in their favorite pictures. And every time you get to come back to Israel, you get to fill in more of the coloring book. Oh. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, you kind of figure out your favorite spot and maybe go right. back and visit that. Where you want to spend more time. time. Absolutely. Yep. yep. And there's different tours in Israel that can cater to your desires and your needs and, you know, your group if you um, want to put together a group. And I know Hanok can kind of help lead you in the right direction on sure. that. Sure, be my pleasure. But, um, but I really appreciate you spending a few minutes with us today talking no. about Israel. And Thank you. I just wanted to ask you, you know, concerning, you know, the scriptures, the Bible, if... You know, if they said, oh, no, here's, here's your Bible, you have to tear like one passage out of there or one, you know, part. What, what would you take with you? Like, what is your go-to that you like to read when you're... Wow. Okay. Um, like all Jewish boys at age 13, mm -hmm. I had what's called a bar mitzvah, mm -hmm. where you then become responsible for the observance of the mitzvot, the commandments. And... In addition to the Torah portion, the section of the Torah that's read that week, mm -hmm. there is what's called the Haftarah, Haftarah, the prophetic portion associated with that. Mm -hmm. For my bar mitzvah, that was the prophet Isaiah, the end of chapter 61, all of chapter 62, and the beginning of chapter 63. And that's where Isaiah cries out, On your walls, O Jerusalem, I will place watchmen. Mm -hmm. That is the one thing that constantly repeats in my head. And I believe as I go around and I speak, again, to congregations and groups of all kinds, at a church like this, mm -hmm. this is what I would remind people, that the prophets of Israel have called upon them to be watchmen on the walls. Mm. That's beautiful. Well, I think that's a great way to wrap this up and uh thank you once again hano my pleasure joy and, thank you and next year in jerusalem okay amen <laughs> so, amen so go see he's great thanks for joining us today i really appreciate it